friends, this week we are going to talk about how to effectively and efficiently memorize lyrics. Now I know especially in the uke world, it's very common for us to have a music stand in front of us when we're at jams and such, but when we finally get on stage and want to perform in front of people, it's very important for us to have the songs memorized. And it's not just because it looks better when we're on stage. We're able to connect better with the audience by not staring into a music stand. And we can also focus more on actual musicality as opposed to just reading something off of a page. And we're never really going to get there if we have our nose buried in a chord chart at all times. Now, even with these tips, the majority of what this comes down to is practice and repetition. That's what's important. We don't want to be thinking we're, when we're on stage. We want these lyrics and these chord changes to come very naturally to us. But there are some little tips and tricks we can use while we are practicing to help internalize this a little bit better. The first thing that I like to do when I'm learning a new song is to search out five or 10 different recordings of it. Now this is easy for me because I work mostly in the jazz world. If you're working on pop tunes, it might be harder to find different versions of tunes, but hearing different treatments of the same lyric set can really make you think about it quite differently. So search out as many recordings as you can and sing along while you're driving away from your instrument when you're walking down the street when you're sitting at work and you are very bored, you can just sing these lyrics. It's important to practice away from your instrument, but when we're practicing lyrics especially, we can separate that from the music and think of it as, as an entirely different part of our performance. Now the second thing that I want you to do is take the lyrics, put your computer away and your uke down, grab a piece of paper and a pen and write the lyrics 10 times. This forces our brain to think about this in a totally different way, separate from the music. But we also memorize things much more effectively when we're forced to write them down. Now, after you've written the lyrics 10 times, I want you to read them out loud. Not rhythmically, not in time with what you're doing, not at pitch. Read it as if you are reading a story to your child. This, again, our singing is different from the speech center in our brain. So we want to force our brain to think about things differently, and that's going to help us connect the neural pathways, and that's what really helps with memorization. And this doesn't just go for music, this goes for a lot of things in life. Sometimes forcing yourself to step outside of what seems logical um, in your brain is what's gonna help you really internalize things. You want to speak these lyrics. Now, the next thing is that lyrics themselves, in general, not always, are telling a story. This is not just a group of words on a page that we have put together for no reason whatsoever. So it's important for us to understand the story so that we can effectively communicate that to the audience. But it's really more than that. We want to get some semblance of emotionally involved in the song. That's going to help us remember it better because it's important to us now. It's not just a set of words on the page. So sit down and really try to understand the lyrics and not necessarily what the author meant them to be, but what you want those to mean to you and what you want to convey with those words that you are saying. When we think about it in this way, instead of just words coming out of our mouths, we can really think about telling a story and the emotion involved behind that. Now, the last two tips are really more for effectively memorizing things and really breaking it down while we're practicing. One of the biggest things you can do is to memorize just the first one or two words of each verse and each chorus. If you're familiar with the song, you'll find that as long as you get those first little tidbits to, to jumpstart you, that the rest will come along with you. This, this happens a lot as when we are reading as well. If you read really fast and you look at words, you'll note that sometimes you're only really focusing on the first and last letter of a word. And your brain is filling in the blanks because of the length of the word there and seeing the first and last letter. And that's effectively what we are doing by just using mnemonic devices or just memorizing a little bit of a song to give us a jog because our brain knows what the rest of that line is. We're not thinking about each individual word. We're trying to remember the phrase itself. So once we're comfortable with just singing the song along with a recording or along with our lyric sheet, then we can start taking that away and maybe just writing down on our notebook the first few words of that first phrase and see how far we can get in there. Now, the last thing that we wanna talk about is chunking, which I've talked about before in different practice videos. 
Chunking is just taking small parts that are tough and putting them together, but working through them piece by piece. So one thing that you can do to memorize lyrics is say pick one verse of a song per day that you want to work on. And first you'll sing the first line until it is perfect and it is memorized and you don't have to think about it. The key is not thinking about it, letting the lyrics flow out naturally. So once you have that first line done, then we can add the, the second line to the first line. So we'll have the first two lines. And once that is memorized and correct, we'll have the third line and so on and so forth. And by thinking about it in these little chunks and then piecing those chunks together, as opposed to thinking of it as more of a stream of consciousness kind of thought, again, just words on a page, as opposed to one full lyric set, then we can really focus again on the musicality and memorizing these things. So your challenge for this week is to take any song. It doesn't matter. Pick a song that you do not have memorized yet and really work on memorizing that. And I bet that you can have it fully internalized before this time next week. If you really put the time in and the time is really just maybe a half an hour to an hour tops per song, but you want to put this work in every day. And once it's memorized, you have to remember to brush up on these. Our brain does forget things. So you want to sing through your repertoire on a very consistent basis. It's going to help you get better acquainted with the songs that you're already singing, but it's also going to aid in memorization. I'll see you all next week.